Hey everybody, it's Anthem, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. So in the last episode, we ended up feeding that uh, big mosaic slime all the food that he needed, and he ended up giving me my third slime key. And uh, I've been messing around with some of the tech things, and I've been working towards unlocking the ability to open up the treasure pods and uh, I've been trying to get through the uh, the reward system that's at the house but things got expensive really really quick it, uh, it takes 75,000 to get an upgrade for this now the last one took 60,000 but uh, you know I ended up doing that and I got a really, really good upgrade for it. I can now hold 100 per slot, which is pretty crazy. Honestly, it's gonna be really, really helpful for picking up plorts from the plort collectors. And the, uh, the requirement to unlock the ability to open treasure pods is just to create a certain amount of gadgets. And uh, I already surpassed 20 gadgets, which means that I'm able to uh, open up the green and the blue treasure pods. I am not able to open up the uh, purple ones yet, though, because I need I think I need 50 for that, which is far off. But I think I'm going to make these drones and then I'm going to put them around the base and kind of try to figure out what this is gonna involve okay so I can make three of them so I'm gonna do that I did I make three of them no I only have two of them okay I need more quantum plorts that shouldn't be too difficult hopefully they'll help me out around the base I should probably also be able to make a portal Oh wow, they don't have much food, do they? Might as well get on that. Oh yeah, there was no plorts in there. Anyway, so it's a good thing I did this. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we get quite a few. Not very many quantum plorts, but that roll will have to do. I should probably feed my hunters as well, because I need hunter plorts to make quite a few things. I'm also going to try and feed two more big slimes that I ended up finding. Okay, I should have enough, yeah. Okay, three drones. Now I just gotta put them down somewhere and kind of figure out what they can do. I'll set it down here. Drone is installed, okay. So let me see, target. Fruit. Source. Oh goodness. Garden. Destination. Corral. Yeah. Activate. Why is he drooling like that? Is he not close enough to it or something? Is it... Maybe... Cause... Maybe I should get an auto feeder, actually. Maybe I need one. I'm not 100% sure. 
Okay, I'll get an auto feeder on this pen. And then I will put it to this speed, sure. Let's change that to auto feeder and then activate. There we go. Flies right through it. I love it. Okay, yeah, he got a little confused for a second. He's getting actually very confused. Come on. Okay, no, he's just trying to suck, suck up more of them. I'm gonna go put one of these down in the cave because that's where I need it pretty badly. I think my hunter slimes are just different is, is what they are. I don't know, they always need food. Okay, so let's see where I can put this down. Drone. I might have to put another auto feeder in. Uh, right over here. Auto feeder. And you can only put one food type in. Okay, that's good to know. So I will tell him pick up veggies put them in the oh uh, take from garden destination auto feeder there we go I think that one's rotten oh I, I actually did do more of the uh, Ogden Ortiz area and uh, I ended up getting an upgrade for the plots that make them glow like this. It makes them so that they shouldn't rot. Or maybe it makes it take longer. I'm not totally sure. It's, it's one of those. But now uh, I did it to all of my farms. So they're all kind of glowing a little bit now. Oh yeah, these guys are hungry too. I'll go pick up the dervish ports. If there are any more. Nothing, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, how are you gonna do it? Just shoots them in there, that's pretty cool. And I don't really know how the auto feeder works, but it looks like that's the speed adjustment. I don't know, I usually just grab a whole bunch of them and... Kind of just shoot them in there all at once. And then... I have all veggies in this area. So... This might be a little tough, actually. Because... Maybe I can only do one thing at a time because I don't want him to like grab Oka Oka and then bring it over to, you know, the wrong pen that would also have an auto feeder. So maybe I can only do one like at a time or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just do it for these guys so that I just don't even have to really focus on them because th these guys are the only guys with fruit around here I don't know I, I think it makes sense okay and then I'll put him down right here then I will say that's not what I want to do okay um, I will say oh he can pick up plorts too from plort collectors to plort market. That's crazy. I think I actually care about that more than anything. Absolutely. 
Activate. Uh, why is bro sleepy? I said from Plort Collector, right? Plorts from Plort Collector to Plort Market. Um... Nothing. I don't know. Uh... Fine, I'll switch it. Maybe it works if I do corrals to Plort Market. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna pick them up out of there. I mean, sure, why not, right? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, that is, that's kind of neat, actually. Plort collector to market is what I want. Is he going to do it now? I hope he does. Come on. Go around and pick some up. Where are you going? I'm kind of surprised that he can go this far. This, this will definitely save me some hassle, that's for sure. I still gotta feed the guys in this area, but I'm totally fine with that. Oh, that's awesome. How many can you pick up is what I'm wondering here. Okay, he picked up all the ones in there. Will it, it no, it doesn't tell me. And I can't suck them up off of what he's doing. Okay, I'll just have him like, I don't know, automate this area all nice. And uh, I actually need a bunch of fruit. Uh, so I'm gonna pick up these. Uh, then I'm gonna go pick up whatever phase lemons I have left. Cause both of the big slimes that I found eat fruit. Oh, maybe they have maybe a little too much. Uh, where's the little drone? He must have just deposited some. I, I wonder if it still tells me if I'm really far away. Or if he even does anything at all when I'm really far away. Oh, he, he's gonna be in a constant. Oh no, okay, he's going for the rock plort, or the boom plorts. Carrying 50, like it's nothing. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab as much fruit as I can out here. So there's gonna be some right here. I don't want you. Then right here. Uh, there might be some down here. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, there is. Okay. One of the big slimes that I found is actually a big honey slime. So I'm going to save the mint mangoes for that one. Ah, uh, here we go. And I'm out of stamina. I deserve that. I basically sprint all the time, so running out of stamina is actually something that happens a lot. Right when I need it. Uh, I do actually have enough right now for the guy that I found. I just have to remember where he is. I kinda sorta don't remember where he is. Oh, I didn't feed him anything, so he didn't pop up on the map either. Um, this might take a second. I feel like it was like, it was really close to base. Uh, not back here.
Well, that was close. I think this is a path to a purple pod. Yeah, I still can't open those yet, so. He's like off in one of these little side bits, like right next to the water. I'll find him. Uh, ah, it's probably over there or something like that. Like right here. Not right here. Oh, yeah, I know it is. Sweet. I didn't have any Q berries to spare, so I'm just gonna feed him all these phase lemons and uh, pogo fruit. Is he gonna give me a slime key? That would be crazy if he gives me a slime key, because I don't even know where the heck I'm gonna use all these. Maybe there's just extras or something in the game, I don't know. And while I'm at it, I might as well just... Oh, I should have taken that fruit. While I'm at it, I might as well just go ahead and... Open up the... Doors that I know about. I think there's one back here. Oh wow, there's a lot of chickens. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and open it. Might as well... I mean, I've had four keys. And uh, four is a lot. Especially since the really... Aren't that many uh, slime doors I know about. Oh, there's some fruit. So, because it's uh, the honey slime's favorite food, that 16 is gonna count as 32, and then I got that seven, so it's gonna be 39. Oh, there's some pogo fruit over there. I'll probably end up finding some fruit on the way there too, so I'm just gonna head over to that area. And I'll also use the key to open up that, uh, that slime door around that spot. Right at the beginning of the moss blanket. Sounds like there's tars around. Oh, there should be Q berries right here. I did not want to pick him up. If I get another slime key, I. There has to be extras. There's no way I would have missed like so many slime doors. Oh yeah, I have a few uh, machines over here. Okay, so the other door is this way. And there's some fruit right there. Here we go. Yeah, so it leads right to this area. I think uh, when I create another portal situation, I'm gonna drop a portal right down here. So then I'll, I'll have access to the ancient ruins really quick and I'll have access to the moss blanket really quick as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the map fragment because I have not had the map fragment for this place for so long and it's really funny because it's actually super close to where I am right now and this is like the start of the moss blank it's literally just up this log somewhere there it is like, it's, it's literally right here. This is, like, really not that far in. Now we finally have the full map. 
after how many hours? I don't, I don't even know. Oh yeah, I, I put a bunch of these mining things over there because getting some good resources and I just teleport over there real quick. So it's pretty nice. The, uh, the honey guys over here. Uh, do I even have enough though? 32 plus 14 is 46. Yeah, yeah, I have enough. Okay. I thought I would by the time I get here. Hopefully that was the only one. I don't know, I still hear the music though. And there's another one, of course. I'll get him. Another slime key, that's crazy. Tars pop up like crazy over here, don't they? That's fine. I was just leaving anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the supplies from my drills and things like that. I probably won't even be able to carry it all. It would be really nice to have a fifth slot. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is the place to get hexacomb. I really don't get too much of it anywhere else. And then I probably won't be able to pick all this up, no. Spiral steam, primordial oil. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully I have enough to make a portal. I'll come back and uh, set that link up right at the start of the ruins. I haven't seen my little, uh, money symbol popping up. Like, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe the drone doesn't really function when, when I'm not there. Maybe it'll change in a second. Because I'm, like, kind of in base now. Oh, yep, I just got 6,500. So I guess it is a, it is a proximity thing then. Maybe I should even get another drone. Wrong spot. This one's doing his job pretty good too. Oh, where's that uh, feeder? Right here. 35 in there, that's really good. Okay, um, yeah, I, I would just need the plorts, but I think I want to focus on making a portal. Yeah, okay, so I can only make the blue teleporter right now. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to set it up right in that, uh, right in that space. Might as well just put these in that machine. Then the tabby plorts as well. Being able to carry a hundred per slot is such a game changer, it's crazy. I mean, I think I could hold 20 per slot right at the start of the game and each upgrade, like being able to hold 30 was a big deal, being able to hold 40 was a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna head back now. <laughs> I like how he just falls asleep on his little pedestal when I'm 
Oh, uh, maybe I should feed those tabbies. Just because I have drones doesn't mean that I don't have to feed them. Oh, you know what? I suppose I could... No, I mean, I was thinking maybe I could just... If I had uh, fruit in one area and uh, vegetable in the same area, I could just say, hey, pick up fruit and bring it to this... Uh, auto feeder or something like that. I, I might be able to say as long as I only have two in an area, one with veggies and one with fruit, I could say bring one to an auto feeder. Then I could say to the other one, bring one to a corral. But I don't know, I might just go to the corral with the auto feeder, but just put it in the corral instead. I don't know. Seems complicated. Has he been making his rounds? Okay, there's a lot in there. What is he doing? If he's asleep, that would be crazy. Okay. Yeah, I, th I really think I need another one around here somewhere because he's not really moving fast enough to keep up with all of it. Okay. Time to get back to the moss blanket, put a portal down. Oh, I actually think I'm going to use that just little shortcut to get into that area. Uh, the one jumping off the end of the bridge thing. That'll get me there just a little quicker. Part of me kind of wants to see if I can, like, get over there. I wonder if there's anything secret over there. Because I could totally jump on those rocks and I might be able to make that, like, really long jump. I don't know. I've been tempted to try it, but I really don't want to die, so... Probably not, but I might. Okay, now I just gotta wait for my stamina to come back all the way. Oh, it gets a little sketchy right at the end here. And I think uh, I might not be able to make it, but no, I'm good. For a second there, I thought one of those boom slimes was a golden slime for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to put the portal down like... Oh wow, there's like no spots right here. I guess I'll set it more in the moss blanket then. Over here. There's no spots around. What the heck? I guess I'll have to set it in this area then. Yeah. Why? Oh, I should have set it down on the other end. Okay, well, that's fine. Just means I have to walk back. It's not, not too big a deal. Oh, yeah, there's a home portal over here as well. As long as I just go a little bit into the area. Oh, I have a, I have letters to open too. Oh, here's a pot I didn't open yet. really good I wasn't full on materials. Okay. Yeah, I need two drones. He's not 
he's not keeping up very well. I'll go and pick up the uh, Hunter and Quantum Plorts and see if I can just make another one for this area. I should try to get one for this area too that picks up the plorts. Okay, that should be good. It's crazy that this lab was the last area that I kind of unlocked at my base, but it's become such a big deal in the end game. Okay, I might be able to make one now. Uh, don't have enough honey plorts. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to put that portal down as well. Put it right here. There we go. So that'll bring me straight, straight to here. Then I can uh, get to these pretty easy. Things are working out pretty good. Okay. Um, I... Oh, wow. Does he get the bonus too? I don't know. Alright, I need honey plorts. Oh yeah, I figured out that uh, pressing circle shoots out the shockwave upgrade that I got really early on. I think I'm going to put the uh, the other drone a lot closer to the rest of the corrals. Be the builder. Love it. Yeah, I'll set this one kind of over here. Then order him to pick up plorts from plort collectors to market. Activate. There we go. Hopefully he'll keep up now. I guess if I ever want to collect any particular plorts, I'll just direct them to pick up specific kinds. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he gets the bonus. I didn't see any, uh, I don't know, doubles of uh, the money there. That's fine, though. It's, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm gonna read these letters. I kind of like how they're doing this. Uh... Oh no, it does double it. Yeah, I just saw that. How they're doing this uh, relationship thing with uh, getting all the letters and Beatrix uh, kind of reading all of Casey's letters.
These guys are going to be a big help around the ranch, that's for sure. Dang, yeah, they're, they're getting me pretty easy money is what they, they're doing. If I want to get real crazy with it, I could uh, automate some food stuff too. I'd have to think through how I'd even do that though. I don't want them, um, you know, giving certain slimes the food that isn't their favorite. I've been trying to unlock Victor's area, but it just... I don't know, it hasn't been working out for some reason. Like, I've probably done three or four of his quests since, like, last episode or something like that. And it just, I don't know, it hasn't uh, unlocked his area, so I really don't know how to do it. I think it's kind of interesting that those last five slots are like totally blank. Like I wonder if they just ran out of ideas for slimes or if they were like, this game is, you know, kind of, kind of big already. So let's just, uh, kind of cut it off there. Okay. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with how that went. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.